Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, is our very first show of 2023 when we enter this year at 90,000 subscribers. Huge milestone. That, it's hard to believe. You know, your mom was very close because she was she had anticipated and she was pulling to hit that mark yeah. by the end of 2022, but we missed it by about 16 hours. Yeah. And we also had 600 patrons on our Patreon. Uh, you know, we, we mentioned that. You didn't have words. I just, it's just, I remember I, I, I texted you that next day after we did the last video of 2022. Yeah. And I, I usually send out a welcome, you know, message for me personally. Yeah. But it only goes down to 50. Oh, there was really? like almost a hundred new people yeah. in Patreon, yeah, so I apologize you. if you didn't get one because I tried. I can't get to you. I mean, I was dumbfounded. I even asked. I even text. Is this correct? Is this right? Yeah, there's no errors there. That's a real <laughs> that deal. Was amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. We, we we can't say it more. We appreciate all of you. So, anyways, what are we doing here today, Trent? We got we got a bottle it, of Blantons. It looks like we're starting off the first video with the coveted. The blends, the thing, the thing that, like you said, people yes. push their grandma over <laughs> yes. for yes. to get one of these. Yes, but it's open. It is open. Uh, what this actually is is that doesn't uh, smell like blends. <laughs> it's my, it's my current infinity bottle that has pretty much reached the top. So today, Trent, I want to just spend a few minutes because we've had a lot of questions about infinity bottles, or right. or rather, what do we do? <laughs> with yes. all the stuff on the show. Yes, yeah, we do have those questions as well, and, and questions about Infinity Bottles, and I've got some cool information that you might not even know. Okay, I lay know. it on me, that I'm, might, I'm that, interested. That might be hard to believe. I thought I came fully prepared. <laughs> well, anyways, this is, a lot of people did ask, what do we do with our, our leftover whiskey that's in the glasses after our shows? People were like, you know, pulling their hair out, thinking we we just take it and dump yeah, it. Yeah, don't worry, we don't, we don't dump. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, what we do is we take we take our leftovers and we put them in in our infinity bottle. Now, as of this year, in our next patron li patron live stream, which is January thirteenth, January thirteenth, we are actually going to give this away. There are some that maybe not be quite interested, but there's a whole bunch that are interested, Trent ran a poll, and a whole bunch of people would be interested in this as a giveaway. So we're gonna continue that process for this year. Whenever we fill up an infinity bottle, we're gonna give it away on Patreon. So what you can do personally, now some people, you know, let's, let's face it, Trent, let's be honest here. Some people are like a little iffy about, you know, putting whiskey in that, that's coming out of our own personal glasses, yeah. right? So if that bothers you at home, you all, you all have it when we get down to the end of a bottle, and I've done it with, I've done it with not this one, but I've done it with other infinity bottles. Well, if you get down with like maybe an ounce left in a bottle, you're like, you know, uh, put it in an infinity bottle, make your own blend, yeah, and, and it's really neat to see what that tastes like when you're done. And we're going to taste this here in just a minute. Well, and we gave, we had a couple others, right? You had the Kentucky Spirit single barrel, that one, and then yes. another bottle yes. that you gave to our buddies Jay and Kevin. Correct. And they, they really liked both of them. They, they turned out great. really good. So yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see how this yeah, one you haven't even. I don't know what's in that. All I have was a tiny sip 30 minutes before you showed up. I'll go figure. So I, I honestly, I don't know much about it other than that. I can read you. You want me to read off yeah. what's in here? Yep. Because I have it here and I have my glasses. All right, this is actually what's in this Blanton's bottle. Should I try it? Should I try it? You can. Sip away. Knob Creek 9-year, Knob Creek 12-year, 18-year, Knob Creek single barrel, Knob Creek 15-year. Penelope Architect to build 1, 2, and 3. Michter Sour Mash Toasted, Michter's 10-year, Shanks Bomb Burgers. Old Granddad 114, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, C919, B520, C921, C922. Elijah Craig Private Select Bottle, the one I have over there. Heaven Hill, okay, close your ears. Heaven Hill 17 year, Old Fitzgerald 17 year. Old Forester Single Barrel, Blood Oath 8, Wild Turkey 12 year. You, dump, you dumped a Heaven Hill 17 in this bottle, that's dude? That's what's in this bottle. I didn't think you wanted me to put it back in your Heaven Hill. I, I would have. I would have. You would have done I it. I would have. Oh, 
Uh, sorry about well, that. Well, for, for whoever gets that, you get to try the top five allocated of this year. <laughs> so you just got to pick out those flavors. <laughs> now, one more quick mention before we get into tasting, you know, compared between Trent and I here. A uh, good friend of ours, Brian, you remember when he sent us samples of his Infinity bottle? Yes. Okay, and it was pretty good. It was good. He also clued me in on an app. So there is an Infinity app that you can get for your, your phone. Infinity bottle app. This isn't Sorry sponsored. No, it's not sponsored whatsoever, but it's an app you can get on your phone that's called Infinity Bottle. It will actually, if you tabulate how many ounces you pour in, the mash bill of what you pour in, the proof and the age, if you have that information and you tabulate that in the app, when your bottle is fill, filled, it will then give you what your what your ending proof is, what your ending mash bill is, and what your ending age is for this infinity bottle. That's cool. It's really a cool thing. I don't know if you've ever this way, so it's the only thing I didn't no. know if you knew about do, that. So do you Brian, Brian excuse me, <clears throat> Brian used that app and he actually sent me paperwork oh, cool. for his bottle. So if I like let's say I'm using the app because I haven't used it before. Yeah. And I, I want to put in one ounce of everything, but I don't really care about the mash bill. Do, do, yeah. Like, is the mash bill required? No. Okay. It's not required. That's Whatever nice. information you don't input, it just won't give you. Okay, that's kind of nice. So, yeah. that's that's a lot to, to tag. It is a lot. And you know how some people, they, they'll want to know that, and some people just give you the proof and the yeah. age or just the proof or whatever. Well, my thought is, like, some, some distilleries, you don't even tell you what the mash bill is. That's Sometimes com- that's kind of hard. Completely understandable. So, let's see what we have here. Let's see what this turned out like. All right? It doesn't taste like Blanton's. It's throwing me off a little bit. I, I, I can't lie. It's throwing me off a little bit. What I've also done, Trent, is save my nicer bottles for Infinity Bottles, because that's kind of cool. The next one's right over there. Yep. I started. This, isn't, this isn't George T. Stagg, by no, the way. No, that's my next Infinity Bottle. Interesting. This is really nice on the nose. But it is. It really is. It's rich. It's. It, it transfers to the palate pretty nice, does I think. It? Yeah. On the nose, it's like nice demerara or brown sugar notes. It's weird because I don't even know what to expect. Right. Like sometimes if I see a review that some other folks have done or if I've heard certain things about a bottle like, oh, this has some nice butterscotch or whatever in it. I mean, so so many of these have different flavor profiles. I don't even know. Like I know that the Heaven Hill or the the Old Fitzgerald have really nice subtle caramely stuff in it. But that's really good. <laughs> that is good. It it drinks. It's really good. It drinks way down there in the proof. Yeah. What do you think the proof is on that? I mean, this is kind of our, my first sip. So I don't know about you, but kind of my first sip. So that's kind of hard to tell right off the bat. But to me, it's over 100 proof. To me, I'd have guessed like 105. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm just saying I'm starting at 100 proof, and it's I I, I definitely don't think it's 120, 130, no, or anything no. like that. But I think it's it's probably in that 100 to 110 area. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Because a lot of these on that list aren't like super high proof. Mm-hmm. All within maybe like 100 to 110. That's good though. Yeah, that's very good. You get some. That's rich. You like orange. You get like an orange. Definitely get an orange note. Okay, there. it's rich. You're getting you're getting a little bit of butterscotch in there. I am a little bit, and you get that deeper molasses and a little bit of brown sugar too, with that orange note in there. I normally don't drink everything, so that's gone. It's it <laughs> it's uh oh what's the word oily? It's pretty oily. It Good coats one. the palate pretty nice. It, it very much does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good one. Mm-hmm. I think whoever gets that one's gonna be very happy. Yeah, that's good. It'd be interesting, and maybe we do this, we like do a blind of the infinity bottles that we do for, like for the year. It'll be hard because wow. we won't know exactly what's in what. Like we, no. the first two you did, you didn't even write down what you put in it. Boy, sure didn't. Yeah. No. no, I didn't. This is actually the first bottle that I wrote down each oh, really? pour that went into the bottle. But so not the, the ounces, we, right? No. Okay. This one I did not tabulate ounces or proof or anything like that it's just a so what do they call that what do they call that thing when there's like a bunch of food on a on a plate that you make for dinner it starts to uh sm- a sm- a smorgas- smorgasbord smorgas smorgas board it's like that like a, i don't even know how to say that word. it's like the smorgas yeah, board smorgas- of bourbon sure and that's what it is and it's kind of like your own blend and it's really neat to to Put what you have, even if you're leftover bottles, even if you don't want to put in what's left over in your glass, and that's understandable if that's if that's your choice. 
if you just put put in what might be left over and a little bit in the bottom of the bottles and you yeah. wait till the end, let it sit for a while, let it marinate together, let it age a little bit together. It's amazing, really, some of the flavors that come out. It, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then with that Infinity app, and I really wanted to highlight that today because we have a lot of questions about that, that Infinity app will help you organize your bottle so you know everything about it. That's a cool idea for an app. Yeah, really neat. Hey, that's all we got for you today. I just thought it was fun. Fun to talk about the Infinity bottle and different options that you have if you want to start one. I think it's a great idea, and I think it's great for your own home bar. Don't dump your bourbon down the drain. No, there's no need for that. Put it in an Infinity bottle, and even if you like it or don't like it, it would be interesting to like put one with bourbon and scotch yeah. and mix like yeah. all that stuff together and just see how it is. He's exactly right. If you have a particular bourbon and whiskey you absolutely do not like, let it sit on the shelf for a few months first just yeah. to see. It might open it up. It might get better. If it's still not to your taste or your liking, give some to friends <laughs> and use some in your Infinity bottle. You can then cocktails. That's for sure. Idea. Yeah. So, all right. Hey, that's all we got for you today. Thanks so much to each and every one of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time. Right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>